19th November a day that I can never forget ever in my life apart from it being my birthday it brought back beautiful fond memories memories of all the years that have passed by memories of all the celebrations the people the gifts memories i never really gave this concept a very careful thought till this day well this year memories brought back much more even my own self an encounter with my past self was something that i least imagined would happen on this day we lived each moment to its fullest she was my pillar of strength my best friend my sunena soul sisters probably something much more she has always been there with me since the time i remember as cliche as it can get we were inseparable she always tried to make my birthdays the most special gave me the most thoughtful gifts that i haven't forgotten till date I was a talker and she was a listener. I guess that was what kept us together. But there comes a day when the listener is done with the listening. And that is exactly what happened. And after that day, we both grew as strangers. I still struggle to forget about that day. And I'm sure it's the same for her. And today I suddenly feel this huge hole in my heart. It has probably been there since that day, waiting to be filled. So I immediately left to go and face the problems, face her, to tell her that it was really my fault, and that I have been sorry for all these years, and that I still loved her as much as I did earlier. I was the one who always walked out of any argument first. She tried to mend the gap, but I was the one to put my foot down and remain stubborn. She was always a good girl. She never stopped trying to get us both back together again. She was always ready to put aside her ego and work out on the problems. In the fit of anger, I never gave her a chance to explain herself. Never responded to any of her calls or messages. It makes me happy that I'm going to meet her and that I have realized to do the right thing. I know she'll be mad at first, but I trust our friendship. I know her. I got a new address from the person currently living in her old home. Whenever we had a fight, she always used to tell me, "Some day I'll be gone and then you'll know my importance and you'll remember me." Yes, she was a bit theatrical back then. The moment I reached her house, I knew I had come to the right place. It looked like her. It felt like her. I wonder how his life treated her since. I'm going to give her the tightest hug and everything will be all right. I know. I remember that she used to maintain a diary. Though we had each other's backs all along and shared every possible detail, she still had that stupid little diary. I never really asked what she wrote in it. As I turned the pages of her diary, my whole life stood still before me. I realized I had been living this great life on Sunaina's good wishes and blessings. 
I was indebted for life. And I knew that never was I ever going to be able to pay it back. Not at least in this life. Alzheimer's? Has this really happened to her? To me? Has she forgotten me? Our friendship? The arguments? All those things that I wanted to say to her suddenly felt pointless and I was left stunned. Only to know that she was no longer my Sunaina and that she is a whole new person now, a whole new book with each day a new page, the first page. Sunaina now greets me not as an old friend but a new person she has just met with that kind of smile on her face absolutely indifferent she lives a beautiful life with each day a new venture she doesn't remember what she did yesterday what she ate where she lives her friends family me i was wrong there does come a day when it is too late it left me wondering why does ego become so important even more than courage so here i am looking forward to a life with sunaina yet without her